everybody. Kayla here from parkbench.com. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Doc Livingston, real estate agent with eXp Realty and sponsor and ambassador of a local community website all about Maple Ridge in British Columbia. Hey, Doc, how are you doing today? Great. You? No complaints on my end. Really excited to be meeting with you today. So first obvious question, why did you become a real estate agent? Well, I was in uh, the car business for 18 years and, and uh, you know, I could see the car business was changing dramatically and I had a friend in real estate and he kept bugging me. <laughs> but uh, I also had a, a career as a, as a sales trainer and I was actually doing some training for one of the real estate companies here. And uh, I realized that there was lots of opportunity in real estate. So that was uh, hmm, 17 years ago, I guess, 2004. Wow. I became a realtor and I've been happily a realtor ever since. <laughs> well, your clients are lucky to have you. I know from the experience I've had with you, you're a wonderful person to work with. And on oh, that note, that. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. What do you think makes you stand out from other real estate professionals? Well, um, you know, I really, I really love the community, first of all. And, and, you know, I love people and, and, you know, I think I think the biggest joy of for me is is all of the people and, and getting to know them, building relationships and so on. But what really makes me stand out, I think, is that I'm a registered seniors real estate specialist. And I get to work with a lot of people in the in the seniors community, well, I'll say the 55 plus community. And, uh, you know, and I am one of them. So I kind of fit into that. But, you know, this last while, almost all my buyers are first time home buyers. You know, they're all kids. So I really don't know what specifically makes me stand out. But uh, I guess just reputation and uh, lots and lots of five star reviews in Google and, and so on. And people do pay attention to those. Absolutely. Yeah, you take really good care of the people you work with. And specializing in with senior communities, I think that's a huge asset. I, I just went through moving my parents who are seniors and all the moving pieces and the emotions that went with that. I was really grateful to have help. So I think that alone is a really big benefit. Yeah, one thing I learned about working with seniors is you got to be prepared to drink lots of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love that. Got to get that energy. One. So I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's one of the most memorable experiences that you've ever had working with a client? Oh, boy. You know, there's there's been so many. I, I guess, you know, not a particular experience, but finding the right home for a person when something goes wrong and, and there was already a previous deal on the property and these people are just really, really want that. And, and you're just able by staying in touch with other realtor and building a little relationship there, you get that call that says, hey, the other deal just collapsed. Right. I still want it. And I can go back to my buyers and just, you know, just, just the thrill of being able to do that and, and, and the excitement that you can feel with them. It's just, you know, that's probably the best experience of anything, I think. Yeah. Bringing but, good news, delivering yeah, amazing news. news. <laughs> but I think my greatest joy still is handing people the keys to their new home. Yeah. You know, walking in with them and just seeing their eyes light up and just seeing the wonder of it all. It's just amazing. You know, it never gets old. Yeah. And they'll never forget you either. You're a part of this memorable, you know, experience for them, which is yeah, really part special of it. too. And we, you know, I, I work hard to stay in touch with them long after that has happened. So, yeah, I love that. That's beautiful. Now, real estate aside, like, Doc, what do you love to do besides work? Um, I love to do video. I like to do video editing. I like to get out and see people, build uh, relationships in the community. And, uh, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to do business with a merchant, I want to get to know the merchant a little bit and, and see what they're about and, and so on. And I, that's one of the reasons that park bench appealed to me so much because it gives me an opportunity to give back to these people, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. by giving them some extra exposure, especially coming out of what we've just been in. You know, a lot of these people, they had to shut down, they couldn't open their doors and, and, or if they did, they were. Yeah, they were afraid to open their doors, some of them. And yeah. uh, so trying to bring, you know, awareness that they're there. And there's a lot of small businesses in Maple Ridge that people really don't know they're there. And if they did know, they would shop there. Yeah, 
Absolutely. It's just about bringing everybody up together. We can all lift each other up during this time, which is totally, totally, really important. absolutely. Yeah. And I get, yeah. I get uh, some of the people on park bench have told me already that they get, they've had clients come in just specifically from our park bench advertising. Perfect. That's, that's beautiful. What a good feeling. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Now, when we're talking about Maple Ridge, what yeah. do you love most about this area? I like the fact that it's 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 a relatively not too big community, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it's separate. I mean, you have to cross a bridge to get here from Vancouver, so it's it's a slightly different uh, demographic here. Well, I'd say it's a very big different demographic. Um, it's, it's just a, a community on its own. It has it's a it's a bigger city, really, but it has a very small town feel and. I quite like that. Lots of small business, lots of small merchants here and, and uh, lots of communities. It's very much a bedroom community city. There's uh, very little industry here. There's uh, no big box stores here. Oh, wow. It's just, uh, it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's really special. I love, as you know, little ma and pa stores, I think is what makes up a community. So it's really oh, special sure. you have those there. I love lots that. Of- <laughs> now, why do you think it's so important for people to support the community and shop local? Well, you know, it, it keeps the money in the community. I, I think this is really important because if I go and shopping at, uh, at uh, Sabina's Deli today, you know, she's going to use that money to pay her staff who live locally. So now mm. we're, we're circulating that money. And she's going to buy some of her product from local suppliers. So it comes back on. So the money just keeps going around and around. And and hopefully a good portion of it will stay in the community. You know, if I travel to another community and spend my money, it's long gone from Maple Ridge. It's never coming back. So the more money we can keep in the community, the better. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a really honest and authentic approach, for sure. It's all about Um, jobs, really. You know, it's all about jobs. People want to, people want to buy here. They want to live here, but you know, they would also like to work here. Mm-hmm. And uh, if we don't have jobs available for them, they, you know, they've got to work elsewhere. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the smaller community. Yeah, definitely makes sense. Now I have to ask, I see the sign in the back there, coffee talk with doc. What's this about? <laughs> well, that's actually a series that we did and, and we're going to be doing it again, oh, yeah. where we bring in people from different industries, from life insurance to mortgage brokers and so on. And, and talk about different things that are going, going on. So mortgage brokers. So we talk about deposits or we talk about a, a, some aspect of, of the real estate transaction that, that they are part of as well and, and different issues and things that people can learn from. It's, it's actually it was a very good series. We did it for quite a while. And of course, the pandemic came along and kind of ended that. But we plan on starting it up again because people really liked it. We got lots and lots of, of response to it and uh, lots of questions, and yeah. which means that there was definitely people watching in great interest. Yeah. Question shows engagement for sure. And I mean, it has a great ring to it. Coffee talk with Doc. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I love a it. Little round t- we just have a little round table and a couple of stools and a couple of mugs and that's it. <laughs> what more do you need? That sounds yeah, great. More, really. <laughs> Can't wait to see the next one. No. Well, Doc, thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks to everybody who's watching. And once again, this was Doc Livingston, real estate agent with EXP Realty. Be sure to check out his local platform and his community website at parkbench.com slash maple dash ridge. And if you have any questions about this platform or if you yourself have a local business or organization that you want Doc to feature, make sure you reach out to him today. He'd be happy to chat with you. Well, thank you very, very much for your time today. I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, to all of you in Maple Ridge here, I would love to meet you. Beautiful. Thanks, Doc. We'll see you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.